Now our pattern pieces are unpicked and I pressed them flat and I've put them on top of the lining that is folded right sides together, salvages together. And there were a few things that I realized in the unpicking there was a small tuck here in the front of the top of the shoulder and there is a gusset a little extra here um, we're going to sew it just you can see the stitches just follow that line giving you a little extra space across the shoulders in the back so that's important we're going to cut this out and sew it as we would a regular garment like shoulders uh, front and back together and the sides and then we'll put the underarm seam in the sleeve and set the sleeves so it's just like making another garment once it's cut out I stitched the shoulder seams and the side seams I also zigzagged them and then I stitched down the two the back remember following this gusset um, and then I left a little bit open right here for turning once it's in the coat. Then I sewed the under seam under the armpit for the sleeve. I put two rows of basting along the cap and this is important. You always have more fabric that you need to ease in on the sleeve than the body of the garment. If we didn't do that it would be weird. This would actually cave in on your cap, but as it is, you always see it roll nice, and that's because of the easing. The two rows will hold that fabric so that it's not going to stitch in, go over like that. It's going to hold it really nice. Turned it right side out, <clears throat> then I just pop it into the bottom so that the seams are matched and I don't use a lot of um, pins in my sewing but on my sleeve I will I'll use lots of pins and then um, I'm going to sew it I'm going to start at this side of the underarm sew it around and sew it a second time around the underarm part and this will um, I will zigzag trim the seam and also zigzag it. I'm going to do that to both sleeves and then I'll show you putting, pinning the lining into the coat. 